That's a car transmission. <laughs> Got my draft plans and basically we're gonna spray out the entire patio fire pit area where the outdoor kitchen's gonna lie and that shipping container pool that's coming from tangle pools excavator starts in about six days and i really want to have everything sprayed so that it's super obvious where everything is meant to go and i can sit with it for the next couple of days and really make sure that i like where everything is sprayed out so 20 foot off the house 33 feet down and then a 15 foot diameter area for the fire pit so adirondacks can fit around it from polywood um, fire pit itself will be a four foot diameter fire pit so it looks really really awesome now the critical thing is measuring off how far the pool is going to go in this direction and uh and see if we like where exactly that's going to wind up so we're going to be over here for this one Um, pool sprayed out, main patio sprayed out, triangle patio sprayed out, and the in between the house and the barn. I can walk you through it when you're ready. You guys are starting with scraping the patio. We're gonna scrape the sod out and then start putting stone down. Okay. Okay. So I I sprayed measures here. Yeah. So so the poured concrete outside to outside will be 30 foot. Okay. Nine foot six. Okay. So yeah, inside, yeah. So inside will be twenty nine foot by eight foot six. Okay. I was assuming six inch walls. Patio is this edge of the house yeah. out twenty foot. Okay. This is the center of a four foot diameter fire pit, and the, the circle is fifteen foot diameter. Right. I want the patio to line up here, and okay. again twenty foot out. So what we got going here, he's scraping off all the top of the grass and gonna start getting everything leveled. Laser is set up in the back corner over there. That's gonna allow them to get the earth completely leveled. So that way when the stone goes down, everything gets compacted. This entire prep for the Teco block pavers will be perfectly level, which makes for a beautiful install when you're doing a patio. You cannot do a patio with a shortcut. You have absolutely got to level your earth, put the stone down, and get your compaction right so you don't have any issues with your pavers. That window right there, that's what's getting changed out to the Renewal by Anderson double sliders. <clears throat> that's gonna be my 16 feet of glass. And this is gonna be all the Teco block pavers. We've got the urban bonfire kitchen coming out here. So what he's doing, my yard is actually on a slope. Everything needs to be perfectly level. You want really nice compaction, you want a base of stone. That's gonna allow for the proper install of the Teco block pavers. And you don't wanna skimp when you're talking about a paver install because if you try and take a shortcut, what happens over time is the pavers loosen up, you get the patio falling apart as the earth shifts, you just don't want it. With a solid base, nothing's gonna move. You have a beautiful install and it's never gonna shift on you. By the way, cannot tell you how excited I am to see these guys moving earth, pulling stumps, and just getting this whole outdoor project started. And yes, it's snowing. Mark the floor height inside. Now, when they bring that stick up and put it next to the side of the house, we're gonna have the exact height of the interior floor. So they mark that, and now we can determine how much lower we want the patio. About six, seven inches, so we have a nice step. We don't have any snow intrusion or anything like that. Um, so that's what we're, we're looking to accomplish right now. So that, if you remember from the summer when we were doing the barn, is where my well comes up. 
Basically, Dave was putting two scoops of rocks down there to protect it. So if I ever have to dig down there, you hit rock. After you're digging through the dirt, you know that you're getting close to the bottom. Then he's going to fill it the rest of the way with earth. And that is what insulates the top of that pipe from freezing. And being that it's 25 degrees today and snowing, I'm very happy that he's here for that. Entry patio at the driveway. A little hard to see with the shadows. Completely pulled back all the topsoil. So they're gonna get dig this after, uh, after a little breakfast and uh, get their elevation here with the laser. Dave's cleaning up the bank of the creek right now, pulling out all the old vines, stumps, an old chimney from the house they dumped in there. So we're pulling all that crap out, getting everything cleaned up real nice. Man, these guys move super fast. So I was inside for the last hour for a uh, Zoom conference. Uh, and look at this. So Airbnb guests, they come to the bottom of the stairs right onto a patio so they're not tracking all, look at all that mud I've tracked up the stairs. All of that goes away. Everything here stays nice and clean. So this will be Teco Block Paver Patio. And then I've got Wood Look stump patio pavers that are going to be a walkway up to that pet patio up there and that is the main entry patio that touches the driveway touches the barn touches the house again allowing us to get in there without having without tracking mud and inclement weather into the house so that's uh, i'm really really excited for it. needed to transplant a tree these guys are moving the maple for me root system came out almost intact so definitely hopeful that uh that she's gonna survive they bury a lot of in the ground in the woods that's a car transmission <laughs> when we transplanted the maple that's what we uncovered so maple was in this hole super close to the house I want my rainwater cistern right here so it can connect into the gutter system, save all the rain, be able to fill up the pool, not waste my well water. We moved the maple out far away from the house. There's where it was. There's where it is. Cistern's gonna sit right there. Another mission accomplished. There you go. That is the full patio fire pit area right here the center of it where the stake is and then this is all patio baby so this has all been tamped down it's really nice and rigid wow there's another dump truck of stone being back down this driveway right now this gets opened up 16 feet across with the renewal by anderson sliders urban bonfire kitchen comes right off of this wall forward and then takes a left hand turn got four bar stools there oh man this is gonna be un freaking believable <laughs>